Private apps often store and transmit companies' most sensitive data, and in the course of day-to-day -day operations, they're accessed frequently by employees, contractors, and third parties from personal and unmanaged devices. But IT lacks control over these endpoints, creating risk. Zscaler Cloud Browser Isolation addresses this challenge, delivering secure private app access to any device. The fact that it can do so without any client software installations makes it a perfect fit for unmanaged endpoints. And because only pixels are streamed to the end user device instead of actual content, data within apps stays safe. Let's see a quick demo. The ability to access internal applications from unmanaged endpoints or endpoints which does not have and Zscaler Client Connector installed has always been present within Zscaler Private Access, and that's something which we've called as Browser Access. Here is one such application. Now, if I were to try and access this particular application, I get access to this application from my native computer without the need for an Zscaler Client Connector to be installed. However, there is a certain security challenge with this brings to the table. Now, if this particular application has a file, I would be able to download that file onto my local computer. Now, this file exists on my desktop. So data which was secure within my corporate environment within my own servers is now present on an user's computer, which has a questionable security posture and which is unmanaged. Additionally, if the machine which is being used to access this application has vulnerabilities, now these vulnerabilities could potentially be used to circumvent my application, which is being currently being accessed. And if the end user who is accessing this application has bad motives, he would be able to right click on the application which he's accessing, take a look at the network calls being made and try to ascertain a lot of information about this particular server or this particular application and try to understand what kind of attacks can be deployed to circumvent the security around this application and potentially compromise it. Now, let's see what happens when we provide access to the same application via an isolated browser. We have the capability to create isolation policies. You can go to the isolation policy page, add a rule, let's name it isolate. I want to isolate it using the isolation profile, which I've selected here. The isolation profile is what defines how the user interacts with the isolation environment. Would he be allowed to copy? Would he be allowed to paste? Would he be able to upload? Would he be able to download? All of this information is something which the isolation profile contains. I have selected the application which I want to isolate and I hit save. Now, Let's come back to this page and just refresh it. We should see the same web page get loaded within the isolated environment. As you can see the banner, you are being isolated at this point in time. The URL shows that you are being isolated and the same application is accessible now via an isolated browser. I would still be able to do everything which the user intends to do from within the application. I would be able to go ahead and try to access files. If I were to go ahead and try to access a particular file, the file opens up within the isolated environment and I'm able to view the file. The user will not be allowed to download the file onto his local computer. The file is confined to the isolation environment and the data doesn't get left behind on an user's computer. Now, additionally, 
if the user would like to try and probe the application, try to understand better in terms of what the application is capable of doing or where it's hosted, what are the softwares which are being used and basically understand the environment in which it's running, he wouldn't be able to get any information which we saw earlier. All he would be able to see are transactions happening between the user's browser and the cloud isolation environment. 